What up everyone, Michael B. Petty here. Um, I know it's been a little bit since I put out a video, but I guess I'm kind of back. This isn't exactly the video I wanted to put out since I've been like busy or whatever. The truth is that I've just been busy with school and work and that's what I focus on mainly. Um, so I know that I've been kind of in a little bit of a hiatus, so to speak, but it's just, I put my focus, I only have so many hours a day and I only have so much of an attention span to give to certain things. And right now school and work is my priority and that's just what I've been focusing on. So I know I haven't been around and I know that people have been asking where I am. There's nothing scandalous going on. There's nothing whatever going on. It's just, I've just been busy with school. Like that's really what it all comes down to. I really wanna get good grades and that's just where, that's just what I'm gonna do. But um, I recently saw a video today and it kind of put a bug in my ass. I was gonna make this video maybe a couple of weeks ago when, I guess it was like a couple weeks ago when Peter Mon made his video about Amberlynn, which I thought was incredibly misinformed and just kind of like lazy in my opinion. This video will most likely be just as lazy because I'm not gonna like get anyone's clips because God forbid, I honestly don't really feel like sitting there and part like going through that man's video really and like, doing all that stuff, I don't care. This is just gonna be a more of a general generality or a general statement about how I feel about the whole Amberlynn Reed thing and like maybe some of the videos that have been coming about as of late, not that I have like any say or my, my opinion's more valid than other opinions, but I just think there's kind of, there's a level of like misinformation that I feel is almost being portrayed. And it's kind of like, I don't know. It's like it's 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 putting a bug in in my ass for some reason. And I don't know why, but I just felt the need to like come on here and say something. So, I saw his video and then I saw another dude's video. I can't even remember the channel's name right now. And they kept talking about how um they feel as though people hate watch her and that they feel as though um, everyone's bullying her, or the people like me or whatever have bullied her, or whatever bullshit that they want to like try to spin. Um and I just find it pretty amusing. I, I honestly find it kind of funny because in essence, you have to boil down everything in Amberlynn Reed's life to such a rudimentary and simplistic level in order to get to the assumption that like she's being bullied by people. Um, the truth is that the girl has like fostered her channel the way it is. And this is the product of said actions right like this is what she has done no one has done any of this stuff to her her weight is her own issue uh the the state of her channel is her own issue the state of her relationships are her own issue and if someone has a negative feeling about said issues it's not bullying if someone has a negative opinion about what is being portrayed then i don't see i personally don't see that as bullying so in essence also she has all the power in the world like she has all the power to fix change or do whatever she wants on her channel she's a lot bigger than any of the the channels that like have a negative opinion about her but i just find it ish i find it interesting right like this is the thing that i find the most interesting about it is because i feel as though the only reasons that they portray her as being bullied is because she's a woman and because she's fat like i think honestly if she were a dude if she were skinny or not, I'm not even gonna say skinny. If she was not, if she didn't have a BMI over 50, I think that people wouldn't care. I honestly think people wouldn't care if she was getting so much hate. Because the truth is that, does she get a lot of shit? Sure she does. Is that, is the, is the majority of that shit brought on by her? <laughs> Absolutely. Now, I don't see people rushing to defend Onision. Like I, and I honestly, when I, when I'm, and I know that that's a big comparison to make, but I don't know. When I look at Onision, I don't know much about Onision. I just know that he's essentially a shock jock and he just does things for shock value. And I look at Amberlynn Reed, there's a lot of similarity there, okay? And I mean, Amberlynn may not have held someone allegedly against their will in a basement somewhere, but. She has felt the need to come on here and slander quite a few individuals in her life, including rape accusations, abuse accusations, the list goes on and on. And so I feel as though when these people come on here and they make these videos defending her, which they're not really, I don't even, I don't even know if I want to call it defending her. It's like, it's almost as if they're just, 
I think that really what it comes down to is it's like a name that's like getting a lot of views right now. I mean, I do it too, so I'm not going to like sit here and, and knock them against it. But I think it is interesting that you would want to come on here and defend someone who has done such awful shit in the past. If you look past her weight and her gender, um, she's a shitty person. Like she's literally, I mean, I, the list is continuous, right? The rape accusations, the abuse accusations, the mooching and leeching off of people for her entire life. I mean, I, I mean, as a kid, I'm not going to expect you to pull your own fucking weight. But literally since she's gone out of the system, she's essentially just mooched off of different families until like until they finally rise up. It wasn't until recently, and I'm talking very recently, the past year and a half, that YouTube has made it able for her to not have to work and for her to actually provide for other people. Now, the way that that has been, that has incurred is she has essentially sacrificed her health and well-being to make a living off YouTube. Now, I remember Peter was saying about how he doesn't understand why people make it all about her weight, which I was like, all you have to do is literally Google search her, fuck, go on YouTube, search her channel. All of her videos have to do with her weight. Every single video is about her weight. And he kept making this like argument about how he felt as though she's a daily vlogger and then people make it about her weight. She hasn't been a daily vlogger for a while now. So either you're way behind and you're not really watching it because I was a fan too. I watched her channel. I, I, I enjoyed watching her shit until it got to a point where I was like, I'm over the pity party and you're now you're doing destructive shit. So Maybe in the past she was a daily vlogger, but as of now, Burger King mukbangs talking about how sad, scared she is for her life because of her weight, um, candy mukbangs, torrid try-on hauls, all that shit has to do with her weight. And I'm sorry, I understand that there's other people on here, there's people who are skinnier than her that are doing try-on hauls too, but when you put the word torrid try-on haul in your video, people are gonna think a big bitch is on screen putting on clothes. That's it. And I'm not trying to be mean about it, but it's torrid. If it was Lane Bryant, it'd be the same fucking thing, okay? So when you when those words are probably searched or whatever, people are going to think, oh, it's a big girl on here that's that's doing try-ons because that's what they sell at those stores. Like, it's 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 two plus two. It's not that, it's not that hard to, like, come to that realization. So I just think that I, I personally think, I mean, this is my opinion. You don't have to, like, take my word for it. And you don't have to. I mean, it's just an opinion and everyone's got them, right? But I think it's interesting to come on here and defend someone without knowing their whole entire backstory. And I think it's interesting that because, she, because of her size, that she is somehow now off limits, Okay. I don't see people rushing to make these Eugenia Cooney videos defending her either. I mean, she does the same thing, essentially, just on a different spectrum. I mean, if it fit into her in her, her, in her disease or whatever, Eugenia Cooney would probably be doing mukbangs too, but unfortunately, she doesn't eat. So, I mean, that's very evident. I'm not trying to be mean. That's just a fact. She doesn't eat. So, uh, but if, fortunate for enough for Anne Berlin, there's a thing called mukbangs, and she her thing is to eat too much and so now that's where she is she's eating on camera at 550 pounds okay no one makes no one's making this up this is information we are all given we have a woman who is 27 years old 550 pounds that has been on a weight loss journey since 2014 doing burger king mukbangs and somehow no one is allowed to say anything and no one is supposed to um is supposed to give credence or to make an observation that is pretty fucking evident that this woman is killing herself for money on YouTube. Okay. I don't think people would really care if it wasn't for the simple fact that she has come on here multiple times, sobbing her eyes out about how she can't breathe when she gets up to walk or she can't stand in a stand in, in a Walmart for more than five minutes before she's going to break down and cry until the scooter gets to her. These are all, this is all information that she gives out willingly. So for people to like expect people to not have a negative opinion or for that to not have a negative connotation is in my, it, is stupid. I don't get that. And I will never understand that. So I don't know. I kind of just wanted to just like air that out a little bit. And I, I just, I don't, I'm trying, I'm trying to wrap my head around the whole, um, the whole mentality behind 
everyone just must be a hate watcher, or everyone must be a bully, or everyone everyone is this, everyone is that. I don't think it is all that. I think there's some gray in between there. And I think that there are definitely people that dislike her, and there are definitely people that do like her. But um, I do think that for the majority of the people, people are just calling it as they see it. And if calling it as you see it is bullying, then fuck it. I guess the whole world is full of bullies. And frankly, I think we should stop using that buzzword because there's actually people out here that do kill themselves because they are being bullied in school and shit. So I'm, I just think it's, I just think it's, I don't know. I just think it's stupid to expect people to not have an opinion. I don't know. I just, if you don't like it, then so be it. Okay. But I think that if you're going to come on here and like label a bunch of people as such, then you should have all the information and you should really go and do some research on it because I don't think it takes anyone that amount of time to really sit there and really discover who this person is behind them being severely overweight. Like, I just don't really think it's that much of a stretch for you to actually look into some of the shit that people are saying about her because it's all based in fact and a lot of it's corroborated and a lot of it has been proven to be true that she has done and said horrible shit on multiple occasions over multiple years. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and kind of like say my piece about it. Some people might not like really care that much. Some, I don't know, but um, that's just my feeling on it. And it is what it is. Um, remember to hit like, if you like the video, hit subscribe and hit that little notification bell to see the next time I post. Um, I will be posting more videos here soon and thank you all so much for tuning in. Toodles.